minutes before the hour. Whether you're a frequent business traveler or maybe planning a summer vacation, don't leave home without it. David Brenner's new funny collection of tips and advice for the weary traveler. It is called If God Wanted Us to Travel. And good morning, David. Are good you morning. here to complete that sentence? Yeah, well, if, if God, God wants wants us to, to travel. If God wants us to travel, I have a whole list. On the seventh day, he would have rested. He would have solved the traffic problem. That's <laughs> one thing, right? The other thing is that he would have made sure that when a mechanic works on an airplane, he must fly on that airplane. <laughs> That's that, good. Uh, That's right? good. All babies, when they're checked on board, have to be put in these soundproof overhead compartments. <laughs> yes. Right? I picked up one, I think, the guy who, the guy who, the, he would have made the guy who made the black box he would have made sure he also invented the airplane. Airplane, right, because they always... I have, think that's great. Yeah, the black box is fine. The airplane's over 500 miles of uh, territory. Or, or how about this? Airplanes would be, would fly only at 15 feet and would be made out of soft, bouncy rubber. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, if you, or God would have made, if God wanted us to travel, he would have made it so when you press your belly button, your tuchus inflates and you can sail down like a parachute. <laughs> I mean, it's a little thing to add to the person. Absolutely. Yeah. Minor, minor Those should things. have been little extras that yeah, features could have been. that we he could have ordered. He obviously doesn't want us to travel. <laughs> All right, children, I mean, because you really go into it. You children. travel with your son. Yes, this is a mistake. <laughs> not, not that's my son. I mean, I don't say you shouldn't take my son on the trip. Please take my son on the trip. You take should, my son, you should, please. Yeah, that's you should guy. not take your <laughs> own children on the trip. People forget how bad they are on a trip. You know, you know, and you can discourage them without hurting their feelings. Uh, not, not, I put this in the book because this is what I do. You say things like, you know what's great about where we're going? They have the best orthodontist there in the country. <laughs> we will get you braces. It only likes, you go an hour a day, that's all it'll be. You'll have the best you ever, you couldn't get them here. That's one way. The other way is to say, I can't believe, and you pick the teacher he hates the most, I can't believe that Miss McConnell's going to be there at the hotel the week we're there. <laughs> Oh, let's, that's good. Right? That's let's, good. Yeah. Well, and you bring home paper and, and pens. You say, here, you can get a jump on the other students. <laughs> and then the other thing to do is if you're forced to take your children, what I advise you to do is make a cassette at home. Yeah. You scream into a microphone at home. You don't have to do it. Just scream things. You just plug it in when you're driving. Like, don't do that. You know what I mean? I told you to go before, you, before we left the house. <laughs> take that out of the dog's nose. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I got to come back there, someone's dead. I don't care who started. Oh, I do that one too. Yeah, yeah all the ones you do. Yeah. We all do the same ones, right? Yeah, so you just pre record it and you just drive. The whole vacation's fine. The minute that kid starts, you're pushing a cassette. Because they're doing something. Thinking of all those things, you, you have a whole list of things. Things that you don't want to hear as a traveler. You don't want to hear someone say, I thought you were listening when they gave us the directions. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I've right? heard that one before. Yeah. Or if you're on an airplane, you don't want to hear the pilot say, is anyone is there anyone on board who speaks Arabic calmly? <laughs> you see? Or you don't want to hear this is one that terrifies me no matter where you are. Hi, we're on our honeymoon. <laughs> that couple's gonna bore you to death. <laughs> you know? You know that or or you know, someone's saying, This doesn't read American Express, it's Marrakesh Express. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of things you can look out for. If you're going on a road trip too, David's put in some road signs, and I, we just collected a couple out of the book. Yeah, the real. Yeah, people have a misconception of road signs. Okay. Well, what does that mean? What well, is a simple one? I don't know what people really think this is. This this means a sober sign painter's wanted. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is oh, this that? Is, oh, that's a mother-in-law crossing. Oh. <laughs> oh, th this means two idiots are up ahead, <laughs> and they're, they're playing up ahead. And this is, sorry, you're going to have to hold it in. <laughs> yeah, they're the real meanings. They're the real meanings. Of well, words. I think it's really good that you did all this research because you're taking a trip, right? You're going yeah, to I'm, going, I'm going to China. Yeah, I am. I'm is going it to business? China. Or? No, no, no. I'm, going, I, I, I'm looking for my shirts. No, I'm going, <laughs> uh, I'm going to China uh, for pleasure. I want to see China. I've always wanted to see some China since I'm a kid. The cookie factory. The little guy who puts the papers in each cookie. I'm, oh, I'm yeah. fascinated by China. You're taking your, your son on this one? What do you think, I'm insane? <laughs> I told him how dangerous it is there about the dinosaurs and everything. He's afraid of China. <laughs> <laughs> and the orthodontist, I said, oh, better than the one in Arizona. <laughs> the biggest misconception people have about traveling? I think the biggest misconception is people think it's fun. It is, it, what's fun is when you get there. My concept uh. of travel is it, the vacation doesn't start until you put the last hanger in the closet. That's the mistake people make. It is a terrifying experience from beginning to end. So you've got to set yourself for it. Just say, this is going to be horrible. 
Set yeah. yourself with set a book yourself. and yeah. laugh through the whole thing, yeah, right? Yeah, get my book and laugh. Absolutely. And it, it tells you what to do. It really tells you what to do and what the real meaning of everything is. Did I set you up to end this right or what? You certainly did. <laughs> Buy my book. And go to my billiard room, shoot pool. Oh, what that's else? right. Watch How's me, on, going? Watch going me on television. Come to see me. Are you going to open another one in Philly? Yeah, I got the Amsterdam Billiard Club. We're going to open up in Philadelphia, I'm pretty sure. Hey, yeah. listen, Hot congratulations. Stuff. Have fun in China. Uh, thanks. I'll let you know about when yeah, I come I'd back. Yeah, I'd like to go there, too. All right, Good Morning America continues right after this from Maxwell House, Colombian Supreme.